In today's video, I'll show you how to target your competitor's channel with YouTube ads so you can promote your videos to the audience of other YouTubers such as Kevin David. So let's do it. Are you wanting to learn more about social media advertising and online marketing but not sure where to get started? Then Social Proof is the perfect channel for you. Social media advertising is one of the most powerful ways to promote your brand, products or services and we want to show you how. We upload weekly video tutorials and how-to videos teaching you the ins and outs of Facebook ads, Google ads and much more. So if you're ready to learn about social media advertising and online marketing, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. Okay, now first things first, to run ads on YouTube, you're going to need a Google Ads account. So even though we're running ads on YouTube, this is still done through Google Ads, which formerly used to be called AdWords, but now it's Google Ads. So if you don't have an account, um, you can set one up here. Um, just go to Google Ads, you can put it in Google or the website address up here and set up your Google account. Now, once you're done, sign into your dashboard and that's where we're going to create the ad for YouTube. So we'll jump over to my Google Ads account now, so you can see it here. Now, to set up our ad for YouTube, we're going to create a new campaign. Now, that, uh, like sort of Facebook ads, Google Ads has many different types of campaign objectives you can choose from. But to run a video ad on YouTube, we want to create this or click on this one here, which is create a campaign without a goals guidance. So click on that one and then click here on video. Don't worry about any of these. Just keep it on custom video campaign. Scroll down, click continue. Now this will go to the page where we actually build the campaign itself, which I'll run you completely through. So we'll name the campaign. We'll just call it test. Um, we want to keep the bid strategy to maximum CPV, which stands for cost per view. And then here for budget, we want to make sure we change this to daily. Now the reason is if it's not on daily, then you have to set an end date, which if you prefer to do that anyway, you can, but I would put it on daily and now there's no end date and the ad will just run until you decide to stop it. You can put your budget there. We'll just put $5 a day. Scroll down. Now under networks, open this up and just remove this one here video partner network. So we only want our video ad to display in the Google search results and on other YouTube videos that come up, but we don't want it to display in, you know, video partners uh, in their display network, which means um, off YouTube itself. So untick that one. Now under languages, it's up to you uh, what languages you want to target, but we'll just put English for this one. Now locations is where you'll target the countries. Again, I'm not sure which countries you'll be targeting, um, but normally I do the top five, which are the United States. Top five English speaking countries, that is. United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. So if you're targeting English speaking countries as well, they're the top five you should be choosing. And we'll continue to scroll down. Now standard infantry, inventory or infantry, depending how you say it. Um, you can either choose standard is what's recommended, but we want to choose expanded infantry uh, or inventory. This is going to drop our uh, cost per view because it's going to allow us to show on some more or show our ads on some more sensitive content. So it might be videos that have more swearing or whatever it might be, but it will drop the cost uh, per view, which is good for us. So put expanded. Now 
under excluded content, this is going to be removed soon anyway. Um, so just ignore this section. But under excluded types and labels, just open that up. And we want to exclude our ad from showing on embedded videos and live streaming. Um, so just check those two because we only want it to show on, we don't want it to show on embedded videos outside of YouTube. We want the ads to be on YouTube themselves. All right, now this is where you can name the ad group. So normally I just call it ad one. Now here's where the targeting for our ad happens and there's a few different ways we can do this. But for this group, as you saw by the name of the video title, we're going to be doing ad placements onto other YouTubers videos. So to do that, ignore demographics, audience, keywords and topics, but come down to placements and open that up. Now this is where we can choose other YouTubers to target um, our ads to and basically put our ads in front of their audience. And this is great because we can target channels that might be similar to our own or similar to our own content and put our ads in front of that well-established audience. So for example, as I said in the beginning, um, if you wanted to put an ad in front of Kevin David's audience, just put in Kevin David and his YouTube should appear. Now you can do this by putting any YouTubers um, name in here and then it'll come up. So here just click YouTube channels and this is Kevin David's channel. So we'll check that. Now you can see it's come up here. It'll give us an estimate of the impressions we can expect. Now I would add a lot more um, channels than just one. I think you'd want at least a minimum 10 and I've been told this by a Google ads representative themselves. Um, and this is because you want to make sure you have a large enough audiences for the ad to run effectively and have enough, um, basically be big enough to be able to disperse your ads properly. You don't want to, um, you know, not have a big enough audience to target and then your ads either won't run or won't spend the budget that you have and that can be quite frustrating because you need to start again. So make sure you at least pick 10 um, YouTube channels to target and make sure they're all on a, on a similar theme and um, you know uh, related to the video that you're going to be advertising. So that's the targeting. So basically now the ad that we run will appear on Kevin David's content on his videos, his channel and it'll put our ad in front of his audience. So we'll scroll down a bit further. Now this is where we put the maximum bid we're willing to pay for the cost per view. Now I would do anywhere from 0 0.05, uh, so 5 cents up to 10 cents. Now again, once you've run this ad, you can have a look and it'll tell you the average um, CPV that you are paying and you can adjust it later for a second ad and make it more efficient but start somewhere around there. Now this is where we need to put in the URL for the YouTube video that we want to promote. So I'll just go over here. So this is my channel trailer and this is the one I'm going to promote in this ad. So we just copy and paste it in here. Now I wouldn't recommend to promote videos that are already on your channel because typically when you're running a ad on YouTube, a lot of the views might jump on your ad and only watch a few seconds. Um, you know, they're not going to be all people who are going to watch right through to the end of your video. So you don't want to hurt the watch time and audience retention of your current videos. But if you do have a video that you already have uploaded, but you do want to promote on YouTube, just upload a second copy of it and set it as unlisted. So you can still use the link and promote that link, but it won't affect um, the previous video that you've already got uploaded. Um, so either do that or use your YouTube channel trailer 
which should be a pretty low duration anyway. Um, so use either one of those um, types of videos. Now you can either pick skippable in-stream ads or video discovery ad. Now I prefer video discovery ad because this is the type of ad where the video will appear at the top of the YouTube search results, as you might know. Um, and yeah, it's perfect for these type of ads. Now we can pick our thumbnail here and here is where we can write the headline for our ad. So depending what it is, you might say, um, do you want to learn social media advertising? Whatever it is you're uh, going to be promoting, make sure you have a good headline here that's going to attract and get that click that you want from the audience. Then you can put a description of your video and there's two allowance for two lines of description here. You can then set an ad name and then you can click create campaign and that's it. Your campaign um, will be done. It'll be in the campaign section of Google Ads and it'll be under review. Now, Google Ads typically takes a bit longer than say Facebook Ads for their review to be complete. Um, it may take anywhere from, I mean, I've had ads reviewed with under an hour, but I've also had ads take more than 24 hours. Now, if it does take more than 24 hours, what you can do is go to uh, the Google Ads help and you there is a, a contact form where you can let them know that my Google ad has been in review for more than 24 hours and they will sort of expedite the process to look at that. So that's just a useful tip if your ad does get stuck in review longer. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you to learn how to create YouTube ads for your videos and place them onto other YouTubers um, channels so you can take advantage of their large audience and get some new subscribers for yourself. So hit the like button. I really hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss another video. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.